But look, let's move on to the final topic of the panel. And it is regarding your mate, Davidson Sanchez. Brains, does he deserve another chance? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 I mean, look, it's like, um, I, it's not, a, look, I just don't, I get scared when players who you know don't have the sustainability in them to go through like a full uh, campaign, campaigns that are ups and downs. Yes, it's cool to see someone have a little bit of a resurgence and play for their life because they know that they're kind of edging towards the edge of their career and they need to get a big deal. So they they, they play better. They sh It's shop window performances. But then it's like, it's just as soon as it, like one bad thing happens with Sanchez and his head goes and then it's just downhill from there. And if, if a further injury happens and you have to rely on that, it's the same with Dyer. Dyer can put in three or four really good uh, performances and you start thinking, this guy is actually, he's got loads of attributes. He could be a great defender. Oh my God, why can't he defend? Like, that's what happens. It's like he just goes to sleep and then he just lets someone in behind and he's like, oh, I don't know what happened there. You know, so yeah, so I, I don't want to see uh, Dyer or Sanchez in our back lane ever again. And uh, and that's not to, I, I genuinely do really respect that he's had these good performances and I hope he gets a good deal for it. That's not, there's nothing negative on the player. It's just, we need to be serious as a football team. Like we should have been serious at the start of this window. We should have got three or four defenders in at the start of the window. We got Phillips, fantastic. I'd, I'd <laughs> almost rather see Phillips at the back with Van de Ven. If we're going to risk Sanchez, you know, because he could have a good game. It could have one of those games where he gets blown over by the wind. Like that's, there's a huge chance of that. So I, I, I don't want to see... Um, as give Sanchez another chance. Yeah, but Brains, when you're looking at the centre-back options, obviously you've got Van de Ven and Romero, who nobody comes close to in our squad right now. But apart from that, you've got Sanchez, Tanganga, Eric Dyer, and Ashley Phillips. Ashley Phillips, probably too young, not ready. The other three, we're all looking to move on, right? And out of those three, do you not think Sanchez is is the most um, you know adequate to play the system that we want? Yeah, no, I, like if you've got no other players and Romero isn't playing, yeah, like we're stuck right now to have to play him. But I'd rather us do a deal right now for him, get him out and then just bring Tosin in immediately. Just go and get Tosin straight after that deal. Like do it on the same day. Like I, I would do that. I, 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 If he's here and Romero can't play, yeah, sure. He's the first alternate, but... I wouldn't want to give him a chance. I wouldn't want to go the whole season when the window closes with Dyer or Sanchez as our first alternates. I mean, in my opinion, I think you need to get Dyer and Tanganga out the door before you get Sanchez out the door. And I sure. agree. I agree that Sanchez does need to leave at some point, but I can't see us bringing two more centre backs in from now until the end of the window. So if we were going to go for, into the season with Van de Ven, Romero, a new centre back and Sanchez. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a problem with that either. But the thing is, there's deals that look like they're ready to go for Sanchez, not for Dyer and not for Tanganga. Exactly. That's the problem. You know, yeah. so that's the problem. It's like so you got to sell the ones who are ready to go because if selling him right now gives us the unlocks, the kind of boom, we open the door, walk through, get a new defender, then. The most, the more I, I would rather risk the Sanchez sale and not getting any money from this summer than play Eric Dyer and Tanganga um, as backups. I really would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but I'm considering that, they, like, we're definitely that... trying to get Dyer and Tanganga out anyway. I, I yeah. think all I think all three are going, uh, include yeah. Sanchez in that. Like well, you, 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 you are right in saying that. Yeah. Yeah, like I think you are right in saying that Sanchez is the best of those to stay if you need him to stay. Yeah. But if like if I'm thinking like if we're going to be playing one game a week most most of the way through the season, right? Yeah. So yeah, yes, we could have the world's worst injury crisis, and maybe uh, if Sanchez ends up being fourth choice. But as Brain said, I'd, I'd rather see Phillips have those minutes. If those things are to happen. I want Phillips to be the fourth choice. Like, we obviously think there's something there. We think, mm -hmm. like, logically, you'd be saying, okay, spend the season at Blackburn, play more often, all the rest of it. But Ange doesn't seem to be even contemplating that. Like, he's training with the first team. I think he was on the bench on Sunday. I, I might yeah. be wrong, but I think he was. So to me, he's the fourth. What we're looking to do is improve the third. Because right now, Sanchez is the third choice. Sanchez will go. He's been at Spurs a long time. As far as I'm aware, he's had two runs as being like a major part of the defense. 
He yeah. played with Fatonga when Alderville got injured, and he played with Dyer. Outside of that, he's been squad player the whole time. I, I want him to go and play in Spain and spend the rest of his career there. I think that that's the best thing for him. I think it's the best thing for Spurs. So I don't think we need to sign two more. I think we need to sign one more. What we're trying to do is improve on the option of Sanchez. Because to me, you've got Romero and Fender Fenn will be our, our first choice if they're fit. You sign a third one to cover both if needed, and the fourth choice can be a youngster. And yet, yep. maybe by the time November comes around, we've got two suspended and one injured, and we're playing Dorrington and Phillips again in, in, in a massive game. But I, I take those, I'll take those chances. We, I'd like to see that. I'd actually like to see Dorrington and Phillips. I, I, who knows that they, they could be the next, you know, massive uh, it, talents. Like, I, I, it's weird. Like, I know that Spence is on the way out, but I think Spence would offer more to this system. Like, you could have Emerson Royal be your centre back if you really needed it. I'd rather mm. see him there than just keep centres around. Like, this idea of one last chance. Like, it's sad that we're now playing a system that suits what he can do. But it's time for him to go. Like, he needs to do it for himself. He yeah, spent, yeah. what, six years at Spurs now? Five years at Spurs? He's never really been first choice, apart from that one time with Sanchez, I mean, with, with Dyer. When the two of them yeah. in that Jose team, when we played eight defenders, that's worked for him. But now, no. Like, it, it's just, we, we have to think forward. We have to think that, you know, Dorrington at some point could be one of those guys. Charlie Sayers at some point could be one of those guys. Charlie Sayers is older than Ashley Phillips. Mm-hmm. So, like, at some point, like, we, we, we've we got youngsters in that position who I would much rather give those minutes to if we lose two or three players to injury. Yeah. 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 That's a fair point. Yeah, for me, I understand the argument to say he's probably the best centre-back out of the un, unwanted ones to play the system, but... As Brain said, we're getting, we're essentially getting offers for Sanchez. We're not really getting offers at the moment for people like Dyer. So I would rather, if we get the offer, just sell and try and bring another one in and, and risk that rather than keep him because he's more suited than Dyer and try and get Dyer out of the door. We're not getting offers for him. And then that risks keeping both of them. And I just don't want that to be the case whatsoever. So if we get an offer for him, we have to get rid of it. I think we have to sell. Yeah. Like I, th- I think what, what will happen with <laughs> Dyer, regardless of what happens with Sanchez, what will happen with Dyer is this. It will get to September 1st and we'll name our 25-man squad and he's not in it and he'll go on a free. And he'll be you able reckon? to whatever reckon we would do that. I reckon we would do yeah. that. Well, like, why not? We have we, one we, year we, left and why not? Yeah, like we, like we could pay him to sit around and do social media. But to me, like if he's not going to be in the 25-man squad in the first half of the season, he's definitely not going to be in the second half of the season. So yeah, like it would be lovely if teams will offer us, you know, chump change, but I suspect they won't. <laughs> so what, yeah. what Spurs, Spurs have the option of paying for him to not play for Spurs or pay him off and he can play where he wants. Now, that, that in theory, that could hurt Spurs later on if he joins a team in the Premier League and then plays against Tottenham when he didn't need to. But I think Di would go abroad anyway. I that really would help do. us. <laughs> Yeah, he'll probably, he'll him, probably just yeah, take a year out of football anyway and just concentrate on his uh, his new if, app that he's trying to promote, Spotless if, or whatever it is. If, 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 I'm, if I'm Eric Dyer, English football is done. Like, you could go to Everton and probably play there and, and be connect with Delhi again and the bromance would, would, would be alive. I think Everton is probably the type of team that might suit his defensive skills, whatever they may be. But if I'm Eric Dyer, I'm 29, I speak... Portuguese. I probably speak Spanish. I probably understand French and Italian. Like I can go wherever I want, and like it. It sucks that Spurs would consider that, but you know we're doing the same thing to Larice. Like at some point, it's like, yeah, thanks for your service. Off you go, lads. Like we tried to get money for you. <laughs> Logically and smartly, other teams weren't playing ball, but if they're not in the twenty-five man squad, it's in their interests to go. And so we just have to, if it means Spurs end up paying the whole of his contract, which is probably what will happen, then okay. Those are the costs. Like Arsenal did it, sadly, with Aubameyang and others and Ozil, and they were paying much more in money than than Dyer is earning. We just have to be thinking about the future. And, and, Do you think and, there'll be other other players on that list as well that we might cancel their contract or decide to part ways with them if we can't sell them? I mean, like, anyone who with a year left, I mean, even Sanchez, even if they're, like, again, if, I, if I'm a foreign club looking at Sanchez, 
I'm biding my time. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I'm not going to do anything until August the 31st if I'm going to do anything at all, because I might think, like, in, in my head, I think Ange has probably got a squad in mind right now that are definitely going to stay. And there may be 13, 14 foreigners on that list. And you imagine that Benton Kerr and Brian, you know, or the new centre back that comes in to replace um, Sanchez, they're, they're another couple of foreigners. And that doesn't include Hoyberg, and it doesn't include other foreign players. We're going to have another Region. We're going to have a number of players that they won't be named in our 25 man squad. And so it's logical that the ones who only have a year left will be the ones to go. And I think we. It, it, it does make sense to to just let yeah. them go. They are not our future. It does. Agreed. I agree. I totally I'll just, agree. I just didn't. I didn't even consider the possibility of letting go die going of, of die being here and not being in the squad. I didn't think that. I, I just didn't think it would get to that point because there's all the noise at the moment. As much as apparently Tottenham have been tentatively listing for offers for Dyer, it seems all the noise of Dyer saying he wants to stay and fight for his place and all this. There's no be no massive indication that he's being forced out of Tottenham right now. As much as all the fans want him gone, that's for sure. There's been no messaging from Tottenham that like they're, they're desperate to get rid of him right now. He wasn't even in the squad on the he weekend. He wasn't in the squad. That's, yeah, that's the thing. They have to have form from it, though. We do, They let go of Doherty on a free in January, didn't they? So it wouldn't be something that's completely new to them. And we heard it, didn't we? To Dyer. We heard it at the beginning of the window. Uh, Paul O'Keefe said, you know, in the next couple of weeks, Spurs are going to start cancelling some contracts. And I always felt like that... I think like you've got to wait until you can find maybe get some money in and then maybe at the end of the window, if you can't sell them, then you start cancelling the contract. So I think we're at that time now, aren't we? Like if, if, if there is a spot on August the 31st where we've got everyone that we can bring in and, and we say, you know what, Dyer, spot number 17, we'll keep you around over some of the others, then I think Dyer will, will take it. We'll name him if we have space for him and he doesn't want to go. Mm -hmm. But if we don't have space for him, if there are 17 other players that we'd rather have around, maybe we, we would rather keep Reggion around mm -hmm. than Dyer. I mean, I would. I'd rather have Reggion in the squad than Dyer. So yeah. to, it's if, if he's not, if, if he can't play for Spurs, then what's he going to do? And as a footballer, which he is, first and foremost, he'll want to go and get some minutes somewhere. He won't just want to sit around for three or four months. Like I, maybe one of the leagues has a, a has a later closing point than than we do because that usually happens like Turkey tends to finish a day or two later maybe that will become an option for him but I suspect like if again if I'm dire pay me off right I'll yeah. go I, I, I'd love to be able to choose where I can go and I think just for Spurs it would make sense HG yeah. do you think the fact he wasn't chosen as one of the captains do you reckon he uh, that would have affected him like I know this hasn't been announced, but my, my personal feeling is is that like he knows, and Ange has probably already told him, yeah. you are not part of my plans. Like it, we, we see these lists mm. of players that have apparently been transfer listed, and it's Spence, and it's Reggion, and Hoy I mean, Hoybeck's not been transfer listed, but you know, the players yeah. will know where they are in the pecking order. And I think Dyer probably knows where he is. He, he's no idiot. Yeah. So the, the question is, well, if, like, I mean... <laughs> Levy will probably want to negotiate this and say, hey, look, if you want to go and play where you want, then I'm not going to give you all of your contract. I hate that fact that that's what he'll do, but that is what he'll do. We know that about Levy by now. But to me, after like, after being at the club for nine years, it's the same with Therese. We could be like wanting one or two million from Lazio or, or whoever to release him. Or we could just say, you know what, stay stay at Spurs and do nothing, like work in the allotment, whatever it is you're going to do. But no, like we're going to let Lloris go. We'll let Dyer go. Like if Sanchez is in that position, we'll probably let Sanchez go too. And yeah, maybe that's 10 million quid that we've wasted, but like we're paying him regardless. So mm -hmm. if, if they decide to go abroad, that hurt, that helps Spurs. Like as much as I want to make the joke that Rich brings it about Dyer playing against Spurs will help Spurs, I, I, I want to see them go and play. I, I do. Like I, I have, I have nothing against any of our players. I, I, I want them to go and, and, and do what they can do somewhere else. 